the Chris Plateau. I'm really looking forward to this game. Both players showing different styles. Um, actually, you know what I'll say? Bu DDE showing different styles. Bubbles doing a, a pretty standard gateway uh, mech. Last time he utilized a little more air units. Um, not able to get them out, obviously, in time there. DDE doing a great job with that timing push in there. Um, Bubbles not really to able to find any weak or any sort of poke at the Terran, not able to zone correctly, um, and lost a lot of Colossus to poking Vikings. So really curious to see what Bubbles can uh, pull off here as he gets the northeastern spawn here. We're going to get north positions for both. Bubbles is in the blue Protoss and in the red Terran. That's DDE in the uh, top west, the northwestern spawn. So we'll see which, uh, which style DDE selects. It looks like Bubbles so far has played a pretty straight up gateway expansion, three gate expand onto Robo. Um, but DDE mixing it up so far the most. Um, this positions, these positions, sorry, do definitely favor. Um, not particular. Wow, actually, we might see Bubbles do a little bit of a proxy. Ooh, uh -oh. as he sets up the low ground pylon there. Yeah, uh, that the is probe actually his first spotted. pylon. The probe did get spotted by that SCB. Mm -hmm. The problem is, with these Protoss procs, oh, you it takes a lot of resources to shut these down. You have to pull workers. It takes a lot of time to kill it and deflect it without taking too much damage. And during that entire Proto time, Bubbles will be making workers, while DDE will be losing workers. Uh, so generally, these gateway proxies just wind up putting the Protoss in the advantageous <sighs> position in the early game. There's wonderful positioning here by Bubbles. Where it's going to be really tough for DDE to go in there and go for the weak building, which is the pylon. Uh, he actually saw that probe, but he hasn't gone over to investigate it, checking out DDE's vision. He's got no idea what's going on. You really do need to scout this out before the gateways oh. finish. Because if the zealots just sort of start walking into your mineral line and you don't even know about them, you do wind up being in quite a lot of trouble. This SCV isn't even going to see the pylon as it leaves the base. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Great proxy from Bubbles. Take him completely by surprise as DDE finishes walling himself in, which of course, in this situation, you don't want to do this because these are free buildings for uh, Bubbles to kill as this progresses. As he pulls back to defend his mineral line, Bubbles can go and kill both of these supply depots and then he'll be supply capped. So this is really, really working into Bubbles' favor. Yeah, DD uh, just reaching Bubbles' base there. Your heart sinks when all you see is one pylon, and then, oh, there's two zealots and a probe in my mineral line. That sucks. <laughs> Three zealots out now, only one marine on the field, a second marine in production. SCV's just being shredded. The, the zealots not even really trying to micro at all. One Zealot trying to chase down these Marines. More Zealots coming out though. Much, much quicker oh, than DD can produce. You even stopped the bunker. Oh. That's the game right there. Yeah, uh, I mean, bunker is going to go down. Bunker up, maybe. Uh, but like I was saying, even if he did, he would have been able to kill the supply depots. It would have been really tough. Look at the worker count. There's three SCVs left uh, for DDE. Uh, over on the other side of the field, you can see that Bubbles is still making probes. There's the GG from DDE. Wow. Bubbles taking it out. Completely unscouted by DDE. Bubbles wins 2 1 with the really nice procs, really well executed, and he will advance into the next round and get $20 into his pocket. Really well done by him. Congratulations. And we will be moving on to Kiwi Kaki versus Murder up next.